<laughs> Going into a bit of bother today and the best tyre figure in Ireland is giving me out of trouble. He's after doing some great work. Niall, I can never thank you enough. No I can ne- never thank you enough. No bother, yeah. That is a fabulous beard as well. That's a fucking beard and a half, isn't it? Unreal. Sheesh. Prove himself. <laughs> Niall's very good at that. That's his favourite thing to do when well, he's putting on a tyre. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Love it. You used the wrong finger though. Yes, he <laughs> Wait till I tell you all about my day. Started off very simple. I think he's back to work and I didn't want her having any problems while I'm in the wood with the deep. So I decided to get four brand new tires. Getting four brand new tires is a pretty straightforward job. But when we went to change the tires, the wheel nuts were corroded and they were fucked. Some of them had to be cut off. And thanks to Nile Carey and Blue Cow Midland Tires, they ordered 20 new nuts, put them on it. And then Vicky said, it's not charging. The 12 volt socket's not working. So I brought home and uh, tried to find that problem. Found that problem. And then the Jeep wouldn't start. And that was the only fuse I touched. So I checked everything. Went through all the fuses, went through all the relays. Google diagrams, wiring diagrams. Do you think I could get that bitch to start? No, sorry. She was just turning over, da -da 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 -da, but not firing up. So I had to give up when it got dark. And uh, that's why I've been at all day. So, long story short, the dreaded Range Rover curse that everyone's been telling me about for so long has risen its ugly head. So I bet Tom coming tomorrow to look at it. I mean, Tom failing and hopefully he can sort it out. Maybe it's something small, maybe it's something big. I don't know. But I have a van to go to work and I won't have service. So hopefully tomorrow when I leave work, it'll be all sorted. Or maybe it won't. But if you do see a Raptor rocking around tomorrow, parking badly, taking up too much of the road, probably speeding. It's not me, it's Vicky. It's not, it's not me. <sighs> this is the price you pay for a champagne lifestyle. And a Coca-Cola budget. You'll never guess what I found. I found a princess. Show everyone how much of a princess you look like. Look. Give it to her. Wow. Wow, you're getting good at the twirling now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who do you look like? Elsa. 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 Look at this one. Uh, don't worry, I'll make it look sexy. Um, normally, uh, my brother-in-law John Ryan drives this as he's an epic old school driver. Sometimes he needs a break. It's very hard to be the boss man and be a driver at the same time. I says, you go on and have your holiday. It's not really a holiday. He's going to get his hair done and his teeth and a butt lift in Turkey. So, John, you take your time, enjoy it if you can. And uh, I've got this. Although he did say to me before he left, he held me by the face, two hands. And he goes, David. Please do a good job for my little boy soldier, aka Adam, the Super Army Soldier. So Adam, when you get here, I'll have this all. The hole where I'm putting my thing is not big enough. Just have to shove it in, force it in. Kind of story in my life, you know. Not going too bad. Not going too bad. Although. You're going from John Deere to come back. John Deere to come to. Oh, that's. Oh, that's definitely ready. That's five and a half. Oh, yeah. That'll do. That'll do. Look at that. I was just listening to the radio this morning. And the government, in all their glory, in all their wisdom, and keep in mind that they're trying to stop all the pea plants and stop us from using diesel. They won't even let us put solid fuel stoves in our houses now. They're buying 350 million worth of these jet engines to uh, manage lack of power that they're expecting next year. And uh, they will use more fossil fuels per kilowatt hour than anything else out there. But they know what's coming down the road so they're getting ready for it. 
No, we all know it's coming down the road for the last ages. Why didn't they invest that money in a nuclear power plant? No, because our country didn't run by donkeys. They're all fucking donkeys. Beauty. It's just a tail. <laughs> missing something. I don't think I broke it. Wouldn't be like me. I'm fierce clever. I'll stick it back on. Do me for the evening. Adam is after doing some intensive training in the army on interrogation techniques. So when he rings me tonight and says, Hey David, are you doing a good job in that brush path? Because I'd bog in a heartbeat. And I say, Adam, look, for Jesus Christ, I'm doing a super job. While I'm out, I said it, measure a few sticks. But I see. 3 1. Sure, look, twice. Yeah, couldn't ask for better than that. Lovely Tipperary. The air in Tipperary smells like money. That's what it smells like. It smells like money. Before anyone starts asking, see, that's a 2 5, so I left it up the back. They're all dead pulp. So, put them out the back. Just to make it easier for the big old Adam. I'm going to take care of Adam because I haven't worked with him in a while. I haven't worked with him since he's had his advanced training in interrogation. So now he's trained in weapons, tactics, explosives, hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's a, that's a man and a half now. This one's old school chain oil. I don't want to get fucking filled with dirt. You can hear from the roaring of the air conditioning, it's doing what it does best. Whatever the fuck it wants. Some huge fans in the wood today. I said hello to them, but they won't talk back. They're very noisy. But big fans. Big fans. Quarter past seven. Pitch black. I'm going to tip into Mulroney's in Tempamore and get myself something. I wonder if they have not many donuts in here. I think they don't do any other buns, but just donuts. Because of the training college for the guards. I heard that now. I don't know whether it's true or not. Just came down here to do a little bit of work because not only am I an international timber relocation operative engineer, but I'm the CEO of an international e-commerce business. But yeah, I can hear Vicky giving out that the dog's gone down the hall, so now I have to call, take the dog out because I've nothing better to be doing.